Welcome back, everybody! This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. About to chat with Freya. Let's get into this. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Oh, speaking of reading, we should probably- Did I read my thing for the day? My stories? One moment. Cyberpunk Love Hotel. No, I don't think we read this. Let's read this now. Room service. Get this order to room 512. The order came around 10.30 p.m. I was doing nothing, or in other words, I was waiting for an order to come. I was tasked to take a bottle of wine and a couple of packs of condoms. Yes, sometimes guests really do ask for things like this. Talk about being unprepared. The person in charge that night gave me the requested items and let me out of the room to deliver them. From there, I went to the lobby and waited for the elevator to arrive. While I was waiting, a guest came in behind me and pressed the button to call the elevator. He looked at me in awe. I looked back at him, showing him the smile hotel management taught me. He smiled back. When we got in the elevator, he pushed the button for the third floor. Silence filled the tiny room. As we ascended, the guest pulled out his phone from his pocket and started recording me. This again, I thought. I didn't do anything about it. To be precise, I can't do anything about it. It's part of the job, after all. Ding! We reached the third floor. The guest left while still pointing his camera at me. At me, at me. Oh, it's just at me a bunch of times in the faded text. I waited alone until the elevator reached the fifth floor a few seconds later. I left the elevator and started moving towards room 512. When I was in front of the door, I rang the bell and let the occupants know I had arrived. It's here! I can hear a muffled voice of a woman. The door opened. Look, hun, they really do use, robot to, ro use a robot to deliver room service. The woman shouted back to her partner. Yeah, that is so cool, the guy responded, trying to sound interested, though I'm sure he was staring at the woman's butt and couldn't wait to use the stuff they'd ordered. I want to take a picture with the robot, okay? The woman said in a... What is that word? Oh, a saccharine sweet... Saturi, I think that's how you pronounce it. It just means sweet. Well, dentally, that word now means sweet, sweet, mildly nauseating tone. Sure, hun. Wait, are you sure it's okay to just hug the robot like that? Huh, turned out the old... Turned out the man could still think with his big brain, after all. It's fine. I saw they even have a robot you can have sex with, and I'm sure a simple hug won't matter, said the woman. That's a different model. What's next? You're going to hug a Terminator? I screamed internally. Say cheese. Then one, two, three. Flash. It looks so cute. I was hoping it might look more human-like, though. Maybe they don't have the technology for that yet said the adult woman who still hadn't grasped the concept of look but don't touch okay come on darling this robot has got other things to do let's just take our order and let it do its work they took the order and closed the door oh human how the hell did you ever manage to survive so long in this universe i wondered as i trundled back down to my room all right semi-depressing version of wally i must say switching up the music a bit all right, let's go. Okay, I'll leave you with whatever that is. I wonder if she's reading gay fan fiction. Nope, I don't think that is. That's not the look of someone who's reading fan fiction. It's too depressing. Oh, man. Oh, I think it's the woman. Yeah, I forget your name. Sorry. Oh, it's Aqua. Oh, Aqua. Fancy seeing you here again. By the way, I have yet to edit the episode of which we speak to Aqua, so I'm not 100% sure how this sounds on the microphone yet, so if it still sounds horrible, blame yourself for watching this. Hi, Lady Dubs. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good, how about you? I am fine, thank you, and you. Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Lady Doves. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting with her tonight? Ah, that's not it. 
I was just wondering whether she was coming here or not tonight. You have her email, right? Yes. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. <laughs> That's very funny, that sound. I don't know how to really replicate that. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up the question sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Oh, okay. So tea? Oh, what are these? Uh, mint. Cool. All right, but we want to do lemon. You said you wanted lemon and cinnamon? Okay, let's just do lemon as the second, tea as the last. Brew. Part of me kind of hopes I get this right. I feel like it's not right for some reason. Oh, it's a Russian tea. Is that the same? I don't know. Let's serve it to her, and if it's no good, then I'll reset the whole thing again. Because I like getting it right. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. Oh, so you do like it. I was originally from the community cookbook or something. You're right. Wow, that's a high specific fun fact, you know. I guess I spent too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. <laughs> Finish your drink first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left. I was just joking. Oh. That was be crazy. Why? Oh, no. I didn't mean to offend you anything. It just said you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You two lady doves. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes. Where do you come from? Because... Judging from your accent, where you sing very weirdly and off-key all the time, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full French oceanic. Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? Oh, yeah. I'm the only one who could have moved here. Oh. Yeah, I know why? It's not easy for people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got a scholarship and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know, but my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here for? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. We're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have any siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as the Seattle's population. Must make family reunions and dating very awkward. Wow. That's a lot. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandparents' kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy! How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. As many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He 
also lives in Seattle. Nah, he's living in San Francisco, near a parent's house. He's the good kid, and I'm the rebel. Working on some high-end tech job, while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. You know, I know. Anyway, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Oh, the usual is just an espresso, triple coffee. I know my regular, at least I hope I would. Then again, this is what, the fifth episode? Maybe I shouldn't be putting too much faith in myself. That's my first mistake. Your espresso is ready. Thanks! There! Just the way I love it! Ugh, I can't... Ugh, nah, I can't do bitter things at all. I am not a bitter person. I like things sweet. Wonder who's coming in? Oh, you're new. I have, like a different... You're like a potato with cat ears and a mustache. I love it. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Oh, wait. I just noticed. I got a little tag here. That might be you. One moment. Not tag. A notification. Oh, I know. Just a, something for Aqua. Well, might as well read this. Let's see. Born January 12th. Researcher by day. Aspiring indie dev by night. My self-summary. A mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert tea lover. Favorite things. Full metal conflict video games in general. And grandma. I love my grandma, too. What I'm going... What I'm doing with my life. Move to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find a place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Oh, you are just so cute, Aqua. I wish you all the best in life. Now, you sound like you're old, an older gentleman, or seem like. How do I make an old-sounding voice? Good evening. Uh, awkward silences. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm cool with that. How can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Oh. Uh, uh, nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually... Are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Oh, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Teller Madu Jahe. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. I'm just gonna write that down, BRB. Also, you sound a lot like Freya. I gotta work on this voice. Understood. Wait, do you even have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I'll add egg once I mix the rest of the ingredients. I love that. That sounds a little better. One cup of STMJ, please. Okay, so what was it? I wrote it down. So it was milk... All right, we don't have the egg right now, so we said we're gonna top it off later, but that means we just put the honey now, and the ginger. All right, so we're just gonna hit brew. And is there an option to add an egg? Well, that's just honey ginger milk. Where's my option for egg? We'll just serve it and see if she adds the egg on her own. Here's your STMJ. Let's see. Did I do it right or wrong? Almost had it right. Damn it, you know what? We're redoing this from the start. I don't care. Damn it, I forgot to save. How will it look? Oh, no, I saved it at the start of this all. Yeah, I can pick it up right at the first day. The start of the day, that is. Okay, BRB. Alright, I'm back, and I honestly don't see an option to really give eggs, so I may just have to just deal with this as is. I mean, sorry, like, I know probably what I'm doing wrong is very obvious, but I just can't piece it together. Because I don't have the option to add an egg to it. So, yeah. Sorry, dude, you're just gonna have to get the wrong drink. I hate doing that. 
Here's your STMJ. Let's see. Oh. You almost got it right. I'm sorry. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Hold up. Alright, any more tips? And then before I reset it and do this again so I can get it right? Noted. Don't worry about it, though. I've traveled to so many places in the States. You know what? Well, hold that thought, dude. You're gonna be traveling again. In time. So I can get this right. I'm crazy. Let me do this. Alright, we're back. So that is lemon, ginger, honey. Brew it. Come on. Moment of truth. Yes! I got it! Oh, I'm writing that down. Serve it. Oh, I think it's now saved on my books. Or not books, my brew pad. Let me see. Yeah, it's under this classification. I think it's milk. STMJ. Warm booster made of susu milk, teller egg, madu honey, jahe ginger from Indonesia. I'm sorry if I butchered those words. Who am I kidding? Butcher's a nice way to put it. I took it out back and slowly killed it. Here's your STMJ, sir. Ah, that smell. It brings me back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with a proper STMJ here in the States. I've traveled to so many places, and none of them got it right. You're the first one to manage it. It's thanks to my time traveling. You're welcome. Excuse me. May I ask who you girl- May I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you a college student? Um, no, we're not. I see, <laughs> he's getting closer. <laughs> it's just like that uncomfortable, like, elderly people community would conversation. I've been there. I'm into it though, let's play. Uh -huh. May I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, lady ducks. I just... Who is this pervy old man? Girl, he hasn't done anything pervy yet. He just kind of sat a little closer. It's not enough yet. I want to. I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. And who's coming in now? Oh, it's Georgie! Hey, buddy! Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie! Hey, what's up? Oh, no, what was your voice? Sorry, it's been a while. Hey, what's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yeah! But don't be so loud! This here is Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh. Oh yeah, the cat ears! You're pro- Uh, I thought you had to be fully in cat form or human form. I guess I was wrong. What was the species again? Neko me Mimi, I think? Yeah, Neko Mimi. I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Girl, you are rushing, rushing to judgment here. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Lady Dubs. Please call me Hentry. Oh, we got a notification here on Toma de Chill. Uh, we gonna get Rachel's dad? Yeah, Hendry! Oh, it's a picture of you and your baby girl, how cute! Uh, born May 23rd, and that's it. Oh, that's adorable, I love it. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? 
Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh. Like, I, I could have pieced that together on my own, girl. You gotta think before you speak while I'm on the talk. Moving on. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya? Okay. I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Here you have Freya, I'll come with you. Yeah, that's a good move there, Aqua. <laughs> Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with any shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that! What? I'm not a criminal! I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Lady Doves here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? No, I don't think it is, buddy. It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned. Give them time and space. Be there when they need you. Oh, there was not going to be more to that? I thought we were leading up to something. Never mind. Or... You can just bribe them. One time, I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakhouse. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. The pizza really helped smooth things over. Hey, when in doubt, pizza bribes always work. Unless your kid's allergic to pizza. Then don't do that. Wait, aren't you lactose intolerant? You can't have cheese. Maybe it was dairy-free. Or you made the risk for your daughter. Either or. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if... What if she loves doing the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not to that label, not to the media, not to the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I feel it on my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Lady Dubs, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. The squishing falling by the jingle is not the most appealing sound, I must say. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, just end up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do, other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully, they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager. 
If that'll ease your mind. Please do. Uh, dude, you have a flip phone, really? Okay, give me a minute. It's Morris. Last name Lester. Wait. Uh, right here on my other computer, I actually have it set up for an editing. And yeah, profile Morris Lester for slum to, grant, to glam. That's what it says on the newspaper. So we know that name. Uh, okay, by the looks of it, he was uh, a nobody who made it big? Well, let's keep reading and find out. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh. Isn't he the guy in today's paper? Yes, he is. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. That folks soon, huh? Hold on, I gotta take this. I've just got a call. I've gotta go. I'd love to talk more with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait. Oh, you have a flip phone too, I just noticed. Do they still make those, really? Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad. Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I know I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career. It's a whole different world than a band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There's a lot of bad people out there. People who want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best for her, though? I mean, she's born to soar. But... But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound, mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I would love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Lady Doves? Take all the time you need. Oh, that was the end of this day. Oh, was that like a drink with a churro in it? Spanish Sahara. Warm and cozy, just like a day in Barcelona. I mean, I kind of want to learn that drink, because that means I got a churro in it. That sounds delicious. All right, let's kick off at least a little bit of the next day before we end the episode. Monday, September 28th, 2020. Today's paper, The Evening Whisper. A uh, military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. Oh, it's probably a reference to the Mer people. Where will representatives push the ministry for a more accessible sedative? Doctor from Salash Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning. Ooh, okay, that's, uh, sounds a little serious, actually. Uh, what's going on? Why are you already, are, you're starting off sad, that's not good. Are you sure that would be okay? Yes! I mean, it would be really hard to pull it off, but it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully. I know. 
I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, hey, it's Gala. Hey, Gala. You know, I wanted to, I've been thinking about this. I want to give you a different voice because you sound like a robot. And given the trajectory of this game, I feel like we're actually going to meet a robot eventually. So I should save that voice. Damn, what should I give Gala now? Good evening, everyone. Eh, that one doesn't sound so bad. Let's stick with it for now. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looks like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Lady Dubs was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Well, that sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please, don't let my presence interrupt you. Ah, don't worry about it. Although, I need to interrupt Lady Dubs for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Huh. You remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. God damn it, I'm not gonna get this, am I? Just so you know, I have every intention to retry this over and over again until I get it right. So, yeah. Time traveling in this episode. Wonder what tea ginger mint would give me. Might be a new named drink for all I know. Let's just see if he likes ginger mint tea. If he doesn't like it, then we reset. Is this it? How is it? Okay, it's not it. Okay, we're gonna do this right. Don't worry about it. Masala chai. Uh, okay, that was the tea, ginger, and cinnamon. Let's see if that does it. Is this it? Nah, masala chai is not it. Oh, if I put tea, milk, and ginger, I get a gala hat. I don't know what that is, but you know what? Let's just serve it to him and let's see if that's something. Judging by the smell, this looks like it's a yes! Oh, I totally just randomly chose that one. I'm gonna mark that down. This is Gala's Remedy. And also, by the looks of it, I now have it in my thing. Yeah, Gala hat. Ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Nice! Also got something else on Tomoda Chill, I think. Something for Gala, yeah! Uh, self, my self-summary. Veteran, now working in a hospital. Oh, veteran, you mean you used to be a soldier? That's interesting. Alright, let's talk to him for a bit. Judging by the smell, this looks like it's it. I did not say that right, did I? Whatever. Indeed. I have the same feeling. I've made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me. Continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done? I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's me, Freya. Oh, come on. I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He may not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Aw, oh, come on! Oh, hey, it's Bailey's! It's been a while! But you know what? We're gonna end the episode here on Bailey's! Because I forgot to bring water with me, and I am now very thirsty. So, if you guys enjoy what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you all so much for watching. Later.